Road riding can be intimidating, especially when you see a spandex-clad peloton looking all serious. But what do you really need to know to get out on open road? Let's take the bull by the horns and answer your biggest question first. Spandex, is it really necessary? Well, kinda sorta. While I like wearing just a normal shirt, these spandex bike jerseys have these really handy pockets in the back that can be used to hold tools, your phone, or food for a ride. Shorts, well, the spandex variety are pretty comfortable on the bike, but I wouldn't blame you if you didn't like the way they look. But there is another more stealthy option. Shorts like these look a bit more casual, but still have the crucial padding in the back and can be tightened so they don't flap around. Another major part of road biking to get comfortable with are the drop bars. Not as intimidating as they may seem. Firstly, the hoods as they're called provide a pretty comfortable and upright riding position. But if you want more control and easier access to the brakes, you're gonna wanna move on down to the drop bars. You'll find the more you relax into them, the more control you have. Now it's easy to look at a road bike seat and assume that it's been designed to torture you. The reason these seats are smaller than your average cruiser is because road bikes are designed for you to spin faster and generate a lot more power. So the seat shouldn't get in the way of that. But the truth is, the seat that comes on your bike might not be the best fit for you. It's kind of like a pair of shoes. You just have to try it. Don't ride it off though until you get it set up correctly. As a general rule, the seat should be perfectly level and central on the rails. The most common mistake people make when getting into cycling is seat height. Without getting too technical, you're gonna be most efficient and comfortable if the seat is at a height that allows your leg to be almost straight when your pedal is at the six o'clock position. If your seat's too low, you'll be wasting energy and your knees may not like it. Too high and your hips will shift from side to side and this will get uncomfortable very quickly. Lastly, pedals. Good pedals can make a huge difference with comfort and efficiency, especially on a longer ride. Most people choose clipless pedals. If you want to learn more about these, check out our video to clip or not to clip. For more bike tips and tricks from Pure Cycles TV, please click the link to subscribe.